evening, a light plane has crashed into a Chelsea home, bursting into flames and killing the pilot. Firefighters have praised him for guiding the aircraft away from a nearby shopping strip. Laura Spurway begins our coverage. An afternoon flight turned to tragedy. I just heard like the end of the plane engine sort of starting to cut out um, and splutter and then all of a sudden there was a huge explosion. It's believed an amateur built plane similar to this one attempted to land after running into trouble around 1.30. It was travelling south along Chelsea Beach before crashing into a laneway near the Strand. Saw the plane come sailing in down here, went straight through there and went smack. William's wife, Herta, was inside at the time. She was watching TV on the couch when the plane struck the side of her home. And she just was sitting in the kitchen table watching the television and suddenly bang, you know. She fell off the chair and the windows came in. Herta was treated for shock but luckily avoided any serious injuries. I'm lucky to I still got a rough bug of the house that can be fixed. Police believe there's no way the pilot could have survived the impact. It's, it's terribly sad that um, obviously we have one person deceased, but um, yeah, we're in a, a busy, um, busy uh, district, uh, shopping area, and yes, it certainly could have been worse. The streets around the crash site were a mess. The debris of the wrecked plane scattered down the laneway. Yeah, one side of her house was on fire, the fence, and it was sort of spreading to her house, but inside her house, you know, it looked like a bomb had gone off. Just out of shock, just looking down, seeing all that rubble and that. Emergency services are looking into where the distress calls were made before the crash. They say the pilot appeared experienced enough to dodge other houses and power lines when he crashed. Very lucky. Uh, the pilot did a good job keeping away from the houses. The plane just exploded, and I just want his family to know that he was a hero. Let's go live to Laura at the scene. Laura, when will residents be able to return to their homes? Well, Peter, that may be quite a lengthy process because police have cordoned off a large section of the laneway still as they continue to scour the crash site. We understand that some residents may be able to return to their homes later this evening, but there's also three investigators on the way from the Australian Transport and Safety Bureau. They are travelling from Canberra, so they won't arrive here until tomorrow morning, and then they're expected to spend two or three days here examining the site. So there's quite a lengthy investigation ahead just as they try and work through how it's possible for a light plane to crash in a suburban street. Peter? Laura Spurway reporting. It's been revealed the light aircraft took off from Moorabbin Airport. Karen Huff is there and joins me live. Karen, what more do we know about the pilot?